Welcome again to Dogs of War. I'm playing my undead army in Front AP. So, which army do I actually play right now? So, uh, I, I can't show you from here, it's easier to see. So, basically, what I have is five Skeleton Warriors and three Gargoyles. Now, let me explain and point out this is not my build. I didn't invent this, people were doing it before me, and I'm not taking credits for it. It's actually made by Melis. Melis is a top. Um, well, he used to be a top. Oh, here is he, 21 with Thunder Sour. He used to be top one on um, Undead's last month or last week. I'm not sure. And he's now apparently placed 21 on um, his walk, which he just recently started. And um, yeah, I I, I just. Um, Chatted with I just asked for a good play on that player during uh, just in the chat and um, he was there and I was like uh, can I add you and ask you some questions he's like yeah sure um, well basically that's what happened so we chat a little and I gone into the forums I found his build I grinded his build very quickly um, like I grinded the money for it and then I got the I um, the, the stuff for it and I tried it out and that works kind of well for me right now. I didn't actually lose even without uh, Fallen AP. Like um, I lost once because I wasn't exactly having um, what's it called? Uh, because I wasn't having um, I, I wasn't having my third Gargo was in coma and I didn't realize it. So it was comatose. I couldn't use it. So I'm waiting in the queue right now for the game to happen, which is um, going pretty slowly actually today. So, my total um, AP is 389, that being said, if I'm done, I have 399, my Gargoyles are not level 3 yet. And Gargoyles are level 3 get sneak attack, which is uh, important if you don't want to get hit back. Um, it's, hard, it's, it's hard to say, really. So, I'm still waiting. Uh, actually, I'm going to cut the video for now while I'm waiting. Alright, and here we go. It took a while, but we found something. And I can show you again. We have three Gargoyles, five Skull Warriors I'm playing against. Compagnie du Lion de Blanc. Probably a French player. And um, I have two Skeleton um, Bowmen, which I need to level up one more. And I need two more of them. Uh, which is basically going to be the golem kill build, because if you know that um, an undead is there, you fight another undead player, chances are you can um, encounter a golem. And uh, that's the legendary, and the legendary is just overpoweredly broken at the moment. And um, especially with priests. So what you want to do is getting um, archers with ferocious, and uh, they deal always 6 damage, which kills the golem after t pretty much 2 turns. Alright. So, um, I'm going to put all my... Skeleton warriors in the middle, and the gargoyles are gonna put here. Um, because yeah, well, that's just how it is. That's how I play. And I'm saying GLHF. Uh, I could drop another U on YouTube now, but I'm not going to do that yet. Um, although it's been running good with the series actually right now. Um, pretty good actually. I didn't gain a lot of subscribers from it, but at least it worked somewhat. Um, well. So, the enemy is still deploying. I have no sounds, which is kind of annoying. I want some background sounds. Why are they not there? They should be. They are not. Um, that's bad. As he takes ages to deploy. He doesn't know how to deploy, I'm pretty sure. So he has... Oh, here we go. Oh, my gargs. Um, my gargs are actually pretty... Uh, I always say gargs. My gargles are actually pretty close. I could instantly hop on their archers, which is pretty cool because the archers are kind of near. He's going offensive stance right now. It takes me um, with two shots, which is cool. I can just go offensive stance back with one gargle and attack him from here. Would almost likely always kill... Would nearly always kill him, I believe. Okay, the sounds are obviously buggy. I don't hear anything. Alright, where are the sounds? The sounds are buggy. Fucking hell. That's bad. I'm sorry.
He's most likely tries to kill the one with sneak attack. I would too, because it's kind of the strongest one right now. Oh no, he used double aim. Um, what I'm going to do now is Tide of a Death in, so I can block his way with one of his Skelet Warriors. That means he can't reach his Magark anymore with his melee. Then when I'm going melee myself, like when I can end this turn, I can actually play my other Garg and kill his first Archer. And I can immediately go in and... Um, I, I don't want to run stats in circle. I, I'm just going to go in here. So the trick is with the Gargoyles who has hard boiled, they have a pretty high parry. Um, high parry, which doesn't work quite as good now because they have been wounded already, but um, basically a high parry means um, ah, they have the chance to have a high parry. It's, it's really as simple as that. High parry means you don't eat a lot of damage. So uh, what does the high parry have what other things don't have? Um, well, they also have defensive stores, which I usually am using for the first gargoyle, not in this game though, because it was really not... I, I shouldn't... I, I didn't need to use it. So I'm gonna use my second side of the death because um, I wanted to use my second gargoyle, you know, the one with sneak attack. So what I'm gonna use with sneak attack and why everyone should have is basically go offensive stance, and this is basically suicide, but they are very low and they have double shot hunters, so you go offensive stance and you sneak attack on them, you deal less damage, but you don't get a retaliation. Um, it could potentially end up being 6 less damage on 2 attacks, but in total it would be still 20, uh, 12 or 13, uh, around 10 to 15 more damage on that enemy. Um, none of the lion is not being able to, uh, is not en can, cannot engage with my gargoyles. He goes defensive style, so you, you can't instantly kill him. That's fine too. Um, I'm just moving my skeletons now in this, this direction so they can uh, in the next time swarm the enemy and completely surround him, which is basically what you should do with the skeletons. The skeletons also have hard boiled because th uh, that, that basically means they also take very little damage. Now, um, the, the reason they have hard boiled is because, well, that's just how it is. They should have hard boiled to let take less damage. So note in this game that I didn't actually use defensive stance, was, but which was maybe perhaps a bad idea because defensive stance was actually pretty important. But they didn't only get the initiative; they also had split shots, which is, as I said already, not very good. Now they have a discipline of three, so they obviously start first. If they roll a six, they have nine. I have zero plus five, which is a five. They start first. I go second, which maybe results in yet another split shot. I don't actually believe so because I have him in melee. I'm not sure if he can use split shot. Let's figure out. Can he? No, he has actually has an aim, so he would have to need to spawn. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ambidexteritus. Oh, I see. That's actually pretty fucking nasty. And now, five, four. He attacks, nothing happens. I'm still alive. Nice. So you're gonna move from here and attack with Bowman just so I have them nearly encircled. You can easily get out of that because the gargoyles just simply don't take a lot of more damage, but they have to focus attacks on the gargoyles by. Um, um, my mice cast, but simply just swarm them do, with, while they are doing that. Um, because of the Night of Lying's regeneration, it will take some rounds to take them off, though. Alright, now please stop lagging game. Why do I have low FPS? That's not fa that, that's not useful. Alright, um... The enemy is turn, yep. They have a pretty low chance of hitting me, but I could say oh no never mind, actually hundred percent aim and shit. Uh so I'm gonna use the skeleton to finish off the archer. Then I will definitely just move on here so I have more space to circle and attack the knight of lion. Still getting a parry though, enemy can activate. Knights of Lion is pretty strong pretty strong. Now it's not as strong as it used to be, but it's still pretty fucking strong. Oh, wow, oh, oh. Not good. So, tell me what you're doing. 
basically he wants to get in circle, doesn't he? Yep, I'm gonna just use Musa Skeletal right here. Um, so I have. No, no big reason really. This one I'm gonna move there. This one we'll move here. And actually attack as well because he's at circle for five sides. <laughs> Pretty cool. The last one obviously we can attack with 100% chance to actually hit him. Which should be, yeah, uh, well, you around 100%. <laughs> uh, he, he still has regeneration, so he takes a lot more damage. He has hard boiled, he has regeneration, he has parry, he has righteousness, he has a very tough unit to crack open, but uh, again, I can do this. It's, it's pretty one sided at this point. Now the Swordsman is obviously still there, the Knights of Lion, both of them can kind of kill my Gargoyle right now. Oh, because... Uh, actually I don't think so. 11 damage at Hot Boy, which means only 10. Yeah, I, I, he is using defensive stance. As uh, so I had hoped. So I can do this. Crit? Oh, fucking hell. I need to get rid of the last swordsman because if I don't then I'm like not getting a full encirclement bonus. And he's not getting the full encirclement malus by the way. I can like if he takes this one he has a pretty low chance of actually hitting it. Die. What? Oh it's dying, I see. Never mind me. As more wounded he goes, as easier it's to kill him. All you can do is run away, it's not really mu that much faster, and he gets like 5 attacks from all sides if he runs away. Now that's most likely ending up hurting him more than me. And his discipline is actually not really helping him right now. <coughs> Taunt doesn't help him as well. Um, oh, but the Divine Favor, that could help him. So let's just click this guy, 100% of chance of hits, and the retaliation. And of, well, they have pretty low chance to hit, actually, as I, as I um, tried to establish, but I didn't actually near till now. What do you mean, context, reach attacks again, it's right next to him. I'm just gonna say GG, because it's a good, good game. So basically, this is a little bit how I understand this is supposed to work. I'm pretty sure Malus can pull it off a thousand times better, and this Gargoyle actually doesn't quite die. But, um... Oh, I actually get um, initiative. Not bad. But um, th this is basically how I am thinking this should work and how it works for me. Um, this is why I'm going to play one more game with it and then upload a video or two, depending on how long the game was. Um, I'm trying to, however, I will. Um, I, I most likely will do two games. I, I am... Or, or how will I? I, I? I don't know. After server reply, we'll figure out. Um, talking about server reply, I'll be right. Okay, we go, here we go. Um, I earned a little money. Could level them, but not my gargs, which are what I want to level. Um, so on the UK, it's kind of normal. Let's go for the next game. As again, I will. Fo um, I would stop the record for a minute so I can see uh, when this game st stopped. It's all right. Here we go. Next game. Nice. Um, I already. J uh, by the way, I just figured out that the guy I was fighting just now, there was a um, um, rank 20 player, Daphne DK versus Trap, which is Robo1984. I am hoping that. Oh my God, he plays up. You were serious? Seriously? Oh, oh, are you serious? Well, have fun not winning because I'm not going to engage bad in melee combat. Well. I'm just gonna run away from this. Like, no, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to run. I want to win this one. I know it's a stupid idea, but I, I actually, I actually wanna fight. I actually wanna fight this shit. Like, because that shit is OP. Yeah, I, I, I'm just making my point here. It's not because I hate. I actually, you know, no, no, I kind of hate that guy. Let's just try it. 
I will, have I will most likely always only do one damage. Bam! He one-shots my troops. I do one damage. That is fucking insane and brutal. Nope. He actually retaliates! The fuck is this shit? Malice said that if I fight with this um, build against um, people who are using Flash Golem, I should just go for a draw. And I'm starting to see why, and I believe this is kind of legit. I mean, the going for a draw thing, even though I don't like it. So what I will do right now is basically, I'll fight him, and if he is about to win, I'm just gonna go for the draw. I'm not going to give him this win, because really, I don't see a reason for this. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I just think it's unfair. This ca this unit is a little bit overpowered at the moment. And uh, that's saying a lot. If I, if I say something is overpowered, then fucking hell it is. I am not one of those guys who would say that. I am really just honest there. <laughs> He has, of course he has a pursuit movement. And he is two-shotting my units. I can't fight this. No matter how hard I will try. That doesn't however mean that I'm giving up anytime soon. I'm going to at least kill his archers, then I'm trying to do as much damage on this flash golem as fucking possible, and then I'll get the fuck out. He has a 100% chance of hitting because he has a curious 15. This is just... Bollocks! I don't like this. I don't like this at all. He even parries. Wow. Twice. Okay, never mind. Fuck this. You can literally not do a single shit against this Flash Golem. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, okay, I know a fact that I will note his name down, Robot 1984, um, and I will, um, every time I play against him, I'll use three archers with, um, with the skill which makes me always do six damage. Because otherwise I couldn't beat him. I can't. I just look at this. He is obliterating me. The game is only three turns old. He died. He killed everything. I I don't know. I can barely kill all his archers before he obliterates me. Barely. I'd say this is the last turn I have before I can't kill his archers anymore because otherwise he would have just destroyed me. No, I'm gonna do this. You'll have fun with the draw. I don't. I'm not gonna give the win to you. Like, okay, look. I get the idea, I got the statements. I could just kill, play with a flash goal on myself. 
I could. But I'm not going to, because I think it's lame and I think it's gonna get nerfed and I want better value for my 30,000 duc ducates, because really this shit is broken. Look at this fucker. He is even faster than the usual uh, under troop. I could barely run away from him. Yet alone, I'll do it, but I mean, it's only because I'm a gargoyle. Imagine, if I would have only a skeleton warrior left, I couldn't run away from him. <laughs> I just announced that I'm not gonna give him the win. He can be happy with his draw he's getting, and he's only getting that because I can't kill his golem. I wish I could. He actually got me! Holy fuck! Alright, so I need to finish my archer build. What I'm gonna do now, because I'm very pissed off with this right now, is I gonna note his name down. I will definitely corner. I gonna call bullshit on this. I will definitely no name Robo18984 down, and next time I see him, I'm just gonna use my archers. Screw this shit. So, see you next game, I guess.